All right, guys. Hey, welcome to another episode or edition or I'm not really sure what you would call it. But uh, anyway, I've got um, another episode of my opinion on shit. We're walking out to my garage. There's my new Jeep. I like it a lot. Um, Here I go getting sidetracked again. Man, I get sidetracked a lot. Why am I always so sidetracked? It's because I got a lot on my mind, I think. What was that? Oh, motorcycles. And I wanted to make a video today uh, about motorcycles and um, what, you know, kind of what I should get next. All right, guys, so here's my question. Um, I've been looking at the Sharko um, 250 SER, the Sharko 250 SCR, or the new Gas Gas XC250. Um, I've also considered all the KTMs and all the Huskies. And while I honestly, quite frankly, they're, they're probably one of the best bikes made, God, if I see another one, I kinda wanna blow my brains out. I have um, sold my, what all have I sold? I've sold my Zero FX. I sold my uh, 2018 KTM XC150 or um, 150 XCW, and now I'm down to just my Sharko 300 um, SEFR, which I really enjoy. Um, you know, the thing on the KTM's is you're going to be buying a carburetor because the new Makuni sucks ass. I mean, it's literally one of the worst carburetors I've ever worked on. Uh, I don't know why on earth they would switch uh, from Kian, um, but they did, and that's a huge mistake. Their suspension, quite frankly, while some pros can even run it stock, I can't. I don't like the stock suspension on either the XC nor the XCW. Um, so that has us down to, um, if you want a good bike, those, these two options, or you know, the Sherco or the Gas Gas, is kind of what we're looking at. Check it out, man. I fucking got totally tore the fuck up on the way in the house. Anyway, um, so here we are. We're going to talk about Sherco and we're going to talk about Gas Gas. Um, I try to do these videos just kind of off the cuff so that, you know, you guys feel like it's real. And it's not just me sitting here going over a list of shit that I fucking pre-thought out that's super, like, organized. Because, I mean, we all know facts and bullshit like that. I mean, you can look up the fucking specs online. Nobody gives a damn because I mean, we all give a damn, but it doesn't, it's not an emotional purchase, which, um, you know, buying a dirt bike is supposed to be the coolest thing that you do. I mean, it is the coolest thing you do. I enjoy getting a new dirt bike and fixing it up and tailoring it towards me quite a bit. Um, I don't like spending a ton of money on one if I don't have to, but I will if I have to. So um, anyway, um, the video is about Sherco. The video is about Gas Gas. As you already know, the fucking title says it shit. It probably says it up above me or down below me or someplace because I'm not a YouTube expert. And I don't know where that shit is. I don't know how they put the stuff up in the corner here or down like this. But here I go getting sidetracked again. Why do I get sidetracked so damn much? It's because I got a lot of... I got a lot of my mind like titties and dragons, motorcycles, hell yeah. Anyway, back to my video, um, Gas Gas Sherco. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is like which way I'm leaning or which way I should lean because quite frankly, I'm looking for your opinion. So let me sit back and chill for a second. You guys ever wonder what's gonna happen with all that space trash? You know, it's all like going around out in the atmosphere out there. Not in the atmosphere, in outer space. Like, I kind of feel like we're like the glow, like the space littering community. Doesn't that kind of bother y'all? Bothers me a little bit. Mm. All right, what to talk about. So suspension, that's my number one problem, um, followed closely by engine, my number two problem, followed by um, ergonomics, number three problem, uh, followed by durability. So suspension. Um, the Gas Gas has Kayaba. The Sherco has either WP Explorer or WP Closed Cartridge. All right, it's not the CS4 Closed Cartridge. I don't know what it is. 
but I do know that's a 50 millimeter rear on the XC, whereas the Explorer, I believe, is a 46 millimeter. So you got more oil on the uh, EC, therefore the shock should run cooler, therefore fade less. Um, whereas on the um, uh, SE, you just got the Explorer. And I've had the Explorer, I actually have it on my SEFR, um, and it's good. I don't love the high speed compression. Um, settings right now, but I think that I can adjust most of that out. With that said, I got an awesome text uh, from Clay um, when I had asked him about somebody to do a revalve on the high-speed compression circuit. He said, basically, I'll take care of your suspension, come down here to Tennessee, I'll do the work on it. If you don't like it, don't pay me. Fucking incredible customer service. I don't even know him. I've literally met him one time. We've exchanged emails for like parts, like replacement, like oil filters, um, chain, air filter, things of that nature. I've never broke a single thing on the motorcycle that needs replaced. So um, I'll get back to that in a little bit. You ever wonder like, if you go to like PPG, or Sherwin Williams, they got like 11,000 colors of paint. Like, are we that concerned with our half bath color that we need that many options? It's kind of weird. But back to suspension. So the Gas Gas has Kayaba. Every review, everything I've ever read, everything I've ever seen says Kayaba is the best stock suspension basically that money can buy. I've had it on Yamaha and I hated it. And so part of me thinks like, Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I am so fucking fast that, that the suspension just won't work for me. Or maybe I'm so slow, probably closer. I don't know, I don't know. I, I just know that it deflected and I felt like my front end was really, really loose. I felt like it would blow out of every berm and every rut. With that said, I was using a Yamaha with the, um, I've only ran that suspension on the WR450, the, oh man, the TV just turned on. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, Andrew Zimmern. Man, I love his show. Um, anyway, we got the, I, I've only ran it on the four stroke, so I've had the 250, the 450, and another 450 uh, cylinder tilted back. I, I wasn't ever really sure if it was the weight distribution on the bike with it being so centrally located that my front end was um, light, which it is relatively light on the front end, but the bike felt heavy as shit um, overall. Um, but, and, and I don't really mesh super great with four strokes yet. On the 300, I do really well, but that bike, like I've said in the previous videos, doesn't ride like most four strokes. Um, but anyway, so I wasn't really sure if it was the suspension or just I just didn't mesh well with the bike. So the Gas Gas has the Kayaba, which has me intrigued because I've, pardon me, I've never ran it on another motorcycle. Um, on the SE, we've got the Open Cartridge Explorer. On the SC, we've got the Closed Cartridge WP. Everything I've seen on the Closed Cartridge WP on the Sherco says it is stiff, like pro level super stiff suspension, maybe even beyond pro level. I swear to God, son, I got, I'm not gonna like brag or nothing, but I've got like almost 5,000 square foot house, but I've got four kids. I can be in the furthest away room in the whole house and it does not matter Everybody starts coming to that room, which I appreciate it. It makes me feel cool, etc. But damn, sometimes I just want like five minutes. Just give me five, five minutes or even 20 minutes if my video runs long. That's why I don't do a lot of videos. Hell, I can't get away from anything. But I love my kids. I do. I really love my kids. They are super cool and fun. But anyway, back. You know, I'm a pretty firm believer that rainbow sandals makes the best flip-flop that I've ever worn. Back to motor-wise. We got 250, two-stroke. We're looking at Gas Gas. We're looking at Sherco. Um, on the um, SE and the um, SC, I believe the um, engine maps 
are different. The um, SC is supposed to be a lot snappier than the SE, but I've already heard that the SE has gobs of power. So, I mean, I don't know about that. Supposedly the gearing and the transmission is the same. Um, the power valve assemblies are the same. The map switches um, are available on both. And that is kind of intriguing to me. Um, the Sherco has a, um, a electronic power valve with the gas gas is mechanical. I give the nod to gas gas on the power valve just because I, I love the idea of the reliability of the gas gas. With that said, I've never had a moment's problem out of my Sherco, none. Like I've never broke anything and never bent anything. I've literally had zero issues. Um, supposedly the power is more aggressive, more bottom end on both Shercos over the gas gas. I do not know that for a fact, but that is what my conclusion is from reading and watching different things. If you have any personal experience with this, on the 2018 only, I don't care about 17 because they were different bikes, I, I, it's all the information I ever get is like, well, I had a 2013 and blah, blah, blah. Man, I don't care. Gas Gas wasn't even owned by the same company at that point. The bikes were totally different. sharko has gone through some major redesigns, etc. I'm looking for an Expedition travel trailer to haul a motorcycle on the front and on the back or on the top or on the side, but I've only got my Jeep and it can't tow hardly anything. Like two dirt bikes in a trailer is about all it can handle. And so it has to be lightweight. Do you guys know of anything? I mean like the Moby One's awesome and Blue Ridge trailers are cool. And I've seen some other ones, but man, they're fucking like $20,000 for some plywood and sides. Whereas you can buy a cargo trailer for next to nothing. I guess you could convert it. Hmm. So anyway, um, one thing that the Gas Gas has that the Sherco doesn't, that's a big deal to me, is Kickstarter. God, please stop taking the Kickstarters off. I would rather not have an electric start than not have a kickstart. My um, SEF has started 100% of the time, every single time. I've never had an issue and it has no kickstarter. But I don't destroy those bikes like I do my 250s. The 250 I treat as my bitch. I fucking beat the hell out of it. I fuck it up all the time. I'm always fixing things on all my 250, two, uh, any two stroke, I just beat the shit out of them. So having the Kickstarter is important to me. Um, I don't know how important. I don't know if it's a deciding factor, like the number one deciding factor. I don't think I would go that far. Um, suspension and handling um, and engine are more important to me. I can honestly say that. So that answers that question. So anyway, on to the next thing. We've got, um, we've done suspension. We have done um, engine. Um, I have no experience with the gas gas engine, make that said, and I have um, a lot of experience on the Sherco engines. Sherco engines, super reliable, gas gas, I have no clue. Nobody else has a clue either because it's all new shit. So anyway, now on to um, ergonomics and handling. Um, handling on the Sherco is kick ass for super tight woods, which is what I ride. I ride tight, very tight, single track, lots of roots, lots of rocks etc. Um, the, the Sharko handles really, really well. It turns well. I wish it turned a little bit more with the back end of the bike as I like to throttle out of the corners pretty hard and kind of kick the ass end around. Um, the Sharko doesn't love that. Um, it really does steer really well with the front end of the bike. So that's a little bit of difference between that and the KTM that I typically uh, used to ride. Um, so the gas gas, I have no clue. I, I don't know what it does. I've never even sat on one. So if you've got experience with that, please help me out. Um, on the uh, ergonomics, I think that it's probably a wash between the two bikes. The Sherco, even with a, um, a high bar on it, like a Pro Taper Woods High, um, the handlebars are a little low for me. I almost feel like I need a taller riser. But I feel like when I put a riser on a bike, I feel like it negatively affects the handling. I wish that they would use a taller steer tube, 
um, to get the handlebars up a little bit higher. I feel like all bikes are made, like all European bikes are made for somebody that's like 5'8", whereas literally every friend I ride with is over six feet tall. So I'm not saying that all dirt bike riders are tall. Obviously they're not. Look at pro supercross. Everybody, tallest guy out there is like six foot one with almost most of them being like five eight or under. So I am in the minority. So I know they're not going to cater to me, but I do feel like that's kind of an issue. And it would be cool if just one manufacturer was like, hey, we offer a frame designed around a tall person and it's an option or a different model or whatever. So if anybody's listening that gives a shit, that would be cool. Um, so I can hear Harper uh, playing with Hot Wheels right now and I kinda wanna go play Hot Wheels. Peace. I played some Hot Wheels, that was pretty fun. Now back to my review. This shit's gonna get serious quick. Oh, onto the gas gas. I have no clue how they fit. I have no information on this. Again, um, it seems like the gas gas as I'm doing this video is just kind of a crap shoot. And if you wanna spend 10 grand and just hope for the best, do it. But if you wanna go for a sure thing, do the sure co. Hmm. I feel like I've already made up my mind, but I don't want that to be the case. Um, now, I don't know if there's anything else I really need to add to the video. Maybe I'll edit some shit in. We'll go from here.